Hello, wherever you happen to be around the world, this is the scene here at the Stadium of Light. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And all about action from League One coming right up. It is Sunderland, and they face Lincoln City. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And number 14, Ross Stewart. And the starting 11 for Sunderland. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And introducing the visitors lineup today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. Thank you for attending the Stadium of Light. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Defensive excellence there. Neil Stewart has it plenty of players waiting in the middle Alex Pritchard putting his body on the line Alex Pritchard Pritchard Read it well. Teddy Bishop. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Gooch. Possession lost. Untidy on the ball. Neil. Stewart has it. And he was in the right place to intercept. And they've given him too much space. Decent position. It has to be. And it's in. 1 0. They've breached the defense. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But the keeper should do better in his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. Goal 
And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Evans. Neil. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Has the strength to hang on to it. Crossing possibilities. Not the best challenge. Free kick. Chance to even things up here. In it goes! A well-taken penalty! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. A nice ball over the top. So a corner kick it'll be, following the deflection. Who can he pick out? Found wanting a bit with that delivery. And he prevented it from going over the line. Neil. Stewart. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Stewart has it. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Teammate available. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Well, they've lost the ball. So almost at half-time, and they are making good use of home advantage. Still a bit of work to do, though. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, it's been a good watch so far. Both... Oh, Stuart, they must score! And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Bishop. 
It needs an accurate cross. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, it's been a masterclass in how to dominate a game from midfield, Stuart. Well, what a midfield performance this has been. He's been clever on the ball, he's worked hard out of possession, and he's dictated the flow of the game. Absolutely brilliant. And so it is, the first half story has been written. But he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals, and I expect more from him in the second half. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Alex Pritchard. Neil. Taylor. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Pritchard. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Short corner favoured. Chris Maguire. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Well, a bit of an unforced error, and it's going to be a throw. Bishop and that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line Chris Maguire now can they make something happen strength and control a big part of his game well as you can see it's been all Sunderland in terms of possession and as a result have dominated the game some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that It's with Taylor. Stewart has it. Richard. That was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Now oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. So making the substitution now. Whitaker. Teddy Bishop. How can they make one of these passes count? Crossed accurately towards the far post. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Getting in there to intercept. Stewart has it. Can they create something from here? But they dealt with the threat posed. It's 
20 minutes to go. Well, they've given him too much space. Will it happen for them? And blocked for now. Neil. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Now with Taylor. Very comfortable when in possession. And possibilities inside the box. Has the strength to hang on to it. Richard. And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, it's been such a one-sided game. You just wonder how many more they can add. Nice looking pass. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Substitution for the visitors. And they will make the change now. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Not messing around with that clearance. Maguire. And still danger here. And problem solved for now. Corey Evans. It's with Gooch. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Gooch. And the cross is very much on. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Substitution time it is here. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Sanders. Sorensen. Getting in there to take it away. Corey Evans and there goes the final whistle and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome well Derek it was a very assured performance wasn't it particularly impressed with their play going forward really lively and almost cutting through at will at times the result never much in doubt if I'm honest well we're highlighting him for a reason Stuart he's put in a really authoritative performance here well I have to say that was impressive not just his goals but his all-round play he was excellent.